Arrête. You're going to tu vas yourself make te, te faire, faire tuer. Tu yeah. So this is when you have something done to you like this. The easier version now is if it's a single action and there's one person doing something to you, we're going to go with on. So instead of saying I was seen, we say one something to me. What's that going to be? One. I was seen. In other words, one. Okay, I was seen by Luke could be Luke something to me. Luke saw. Lovely. So say Luke saw me. So give me the ingredients first. Luke. M Luke m a. Which becomes m Luke. M Luke m'a vu. Lovely. Luke m'a vu. Good. Swap Luke for on. One saw me. On m'a vu. And you might go, but yeah, but Luke, if you say the sentence one saw me, we're not giving the listener information about who saw me. We're just saying one saw me. But then you don't give the listener information in English when you say I was seen. Mm. Yeah. If you followed on with I was seen by my friend Fee, fine. So give me one saw me. In, in other words, for um um, okay. So we were heard. Will be one heard us. What's the verb to hear? Ent Entendre. Lovely. The past will be entendu. Lovely. So one heard us. Who's doing the verb? One. On. Lovely. As opposed to. On for new, yeah, as opposed to one for the we, yeah. So on is the public on. Do you see the difference? Yeah, you can use on for general one or to replace for we, yeah. So one heard us. So who's doing the verb on? Who's having it done to us? Me. Lovely, so give me the relationship. On, on nous. And it's heard, so I'm going to go straight into have. On nous. On nous avons. Uh, on nous. On nous a. Heard. Entendu. On nous a entendu. We got, we, oh shit, you were heard. What were we saying? Qu'est-ce qu'on disait? Yeah? So this is an introduction to the passive. The letter was written. Fine, the letter is a thing. What's I have written? J'ai écrit. Écrit. Lovely, ending in what letter? A T. Yeah? J'ai écrit. So how would you say, so the past of written is écrit. The feminine is écrit. Écrit. Lovely. So the letter was written. You're just basically turning your past word into an adjective. Give me the letter was written. La lettre, lettre was et et feminine écrit by par my friend Luke. Mon ami Luke. Luke wrote the letter. Luke a écrit la lettre. Okay, I um um, and the other one that happens in this passive is this general authoritative medical day they decided to operate. We generally know it's referring to a group of surgeons. Okay, so um, if you said uh. I got my tonsils removed. I got. When you hear this got, it's I had them removed. So, je me suis fait. I got. Enlevé. Yeah? Because that's the next verb is going to be in the infinitive. I enlevé is to remove. Je me suis fait enlevé les amygdales. Is the tonsils. They removed my tonsils. My tonsils were removed. Yeah? But it would be easy to say, they removed my tonsils. So, whenever you can, stick it in the active. So, if the verb is enlevé, E N L E V E R, like lift off kind of thing. So one, two, three. Give me they removed. On a uh, on. They removed they 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 because it's this medical thing. They e e e. Oh e. They have Ils removed. On on the day. And again. Ils sont on the day. Now. Final thing on this. You've used m t n u v. You've used all these little pronoun words very successfully for me or to me. Also means for me or about me, but they're less commonly used. So, for example, say for me, he bought. Il a acheté. He bought a few flowers, quelques fleurs. Say so he bought some flowers. Il a acheté quelques fleurs. Okay. He bought me a few flowers. Il m'a acheté quelques fleurs. Now he's not buying me, like in some form of sexy slavery thing. Yeah, il m'a acheté quelques fleurs. So you can either say, il a acheté quelques fleurs pour moi, or il m'a acheté quelques fleurs. Okay? They stole, uh, say for me, when we're saying somebody stole, or I had my something stolen, we're going to say one stole. So how do you say one stole? The verb is voler. Yes, yeah, so give me one stole in three words. On, on a volé. One stole from me, one me stole. On, on ma volé. Exactly. So it's just this use, it's introducing two things at the same time, which are such get-out clauses in French, they're so useful. It's using on to make an action in the, the um, 
in, in, the, in the passive easier and make it active. Because ultimately, what you're doing here is making something active. Yeah? Um, uh, if it's a description, fee was accepted into law school. Yeah? Elle était acceptée, that's fine. Yeah? Or, or they, they accepted her application. Ils ont accepté, um, you know, candidature, ton candidature, your candidature. But whatever is going on, ton application. Um, what I'm saying is, if you if you think of it in passive terms, becoming active, it just makes life easier. Um, um, I was rejected. Il m'a rejeté. They rejected me. Because you'd say that in English, I was rejected. I got rejected. They rejected me. You, you've got all these options anyway, so it's just to teach the anglophone brain to just try saying it as a proper sentence. It is a proper sentence, but to say it the active way. So they rejected me, so the verb to reject is rejeté. So what's they rejected? Ils, Ils ont rejeté. They rejected me. Ils ont Ils m'ont rejeté. One rejected me on, on ma, ma rejeté. rejeté. Yeah, it's just to introduce this. So I will deliberately bring for you, so this is what's basically here. Right, um, I need to go.